tree limbs and debris scattered all across town and the roof of this church behind me torn off. Many people in Great Bend spent the day cleaning up the town. Broken glass and tree branches from one side of town to the other. We watched our tent lift off. My umbrella went to the neighbors and then something hit the patio door and shattered it into the house. A couple of trees fell down, but it was on the cattle pasture, so we had to fix the fence. Filled with trees, Shirley Barles' yard was unrecognizable. It was totally, you couldn't even see the backyard. The, the trees were sitting this high. Just a few doors down, First Southern Baptist Church lost its roof. Drove right past the church on our way home, and we just kind of got to see this. We were kind of sad because, like, it's like the only church we've ever known. It's kind of sad to see it all destroyed. The congregation and many in the community spent their day cleaning out the church. Our church has just stepped up. Our, our church is the church. It's the people. Uh, this is our building, and they have been the ones that have been cleaning and checking on people and hauling tree limbs for other church members and just and then the community has been dropping by and other churches have been coming by. Churches and families throughout Great Bend working to get the town looking back to normal. Pastor Tim Singleton tells me they're going to have services in the annex behind the church, which wasn't damaged. They were also supposed to start vacation Bible school tonight, but are working out alternative options of where to move that. Here for you in Great Bend, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.